Hello my friends, thank you for joining me today. Sorry about the squeaky chair and the slightly buzzy guitar, but we're gonna play something really, really cool. Something that isn't on the internet yet. Well, it will be when I've finished. We're gonna do Rider Weiss One by T-Rex. I'm gonna go through it in a minute. We're gonna put all the little bits in there so it sounds like the record, okay? Um, this is what we're gonna do. I'm doing it on this guitar, uh, an old classical one. Um, so you know that uh, if it sounds okay on this, it'll sound brilliant on whatever you're playing. All right, so here we go. Ride it on out like a bird in the sky. We ride it on out like you were a bird. Fly it on out like an eagle in the sunbeam. Ride it on out like you were a bird. Etc. Etc. What happens then? You do another verse. You do another riff. You do another verse. You do another riff. And that's that's the song. That's it. Right. First things first. Download your free paperwork by clicking the blue link below this video. And if you'd be very kind enough, I would appreciate it if you would uh, click the thumbs up thing. Uh, it's a like thing. It really helps the channel and it helps build the um, the viewer ship or whatever you call it and also subscribe please if you haven't already done so and share the hell out of this share it to whoever you like right let's have a quick look this is my idiot way of uh, idiot proof way of learning how to play these things they sound complicated but if you follow this listen to me we break it down you'll be able to play something that nobody else can do all right i promise you because there's nothing like this on tinternet all right there's your fingerboard here. Don't worry about all these little bits and pieces. This is to do with hammer-ons, I'll explain. Your capo is at the fourth fret. Everything we're gonna do with the strings is indicated here. Your count is at the bottom, so you know exactly where you're gonna be regarding the count. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, we're gonna use our thumb to play the bass strings, or the bass string really, as in. That's what that's gonna do. We can all do that. Our finger, we're gonna use one finger, all right? That's all we're gonna use to play the riff. And when we put the two things together, something magical happens and it sounds really, really cool, all right? So let's look at the, uh, the first shape, shall we? We've got, here we are, let's look at this. Everything you'll see, the only shape we're gonna play here is the chord E. Now clearly it's a different chord because it's a capital dot, but I'm going to refer to it as E because that's the shape we're playing, all right? So well, let's look at that. So the first thing we do, capo fret four, and we play the E shape. Now, what we'll do is we'll just work on, if you look at the paperwork below, you'll see that you've, it says an op, it's got a four, meaning the fourth string, which you will, you're going to hit with your finger, and it says above that open. So you're going to have no finger on, it's an open string. Okay, after that you'll see six and four in a bracket, but with a little arrow pointing at the four, it says hammer on. So you'll do this, there's your open four, and you'll as you hit that four, the trick is to strike the sixth string at exactly the same time. You count it like this, and one, and one. Okay, that's all it means, and one. See that from this angle, and one. Now, if you find it easier to hammer more than one finger on, that's okay, but only, you're only hammering the fourth and one. You'll see me doing this, and one. I'll take them all off, I don't care. And one, take them all off, it's easier. And one, okay? From there, we on beat two, we'll play six and one. Beat three, we play a six. So we've got this, and one, two, three, then we will play our second string, and again, you will play the two, and then it says six and two, and then next to the other two, it's got a hammer, so you will hammer, you'll play the two, and you'll hammer that second string with your little finger at the second fret from the capo. So, and again, you will strike the sixth string with it. So get used to doing that, and that's, written out as six and two together. But you'll see the arrow saying, hammer on, and then you'll play a one. When you play the one, this finger will come off. Now the best way to do it is to get the rhythm and the pattern and the music in your head. Bar on, bing, ba da ba. I'll do that again. Let's 
look at the next. So we've played. We've played this. Ba dum ding ba ba dum bam. Okay, we've played this. These two. We're now onto these two. It gets easier now. I mean, it, it's all easy. It's just getting that syncopation going, making sure you've got it in your head. So we've got this again. Ba dum bang da da bam. Then we play. Uh, where are we? Um, we play six two as we did before and then you'll see six and two with a hammer on on the two so we'll do this again six okay so i'll play that again see that written as the hammer on is with the sixth string in a bracket so if we put the two bits together we've got and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four now once you've I'm referring to this as six now once you've got the hang of this and you're coming down on the six these fingers that you've also got on here you can play come down with your thumb a little bit harder and you get part of the chord that's where we're up to I'll do that again now one two three and four and one and two and three and four onto page two it does exactly the same thing again and one two three and four and one two three four and it just plays out that other bar just with the with the thumb so we've got this from the beginning nice and slowly and one two three and four and one and two and three and four and one two three and four and one two write it on and that's where the vocal comes in all right so again think of your melody time all the time that's going on your bass is going write it on all right so there's our intro riff done now the rest of the song you know because we're only playing three chords in this E, A and B7. The rest of the song starts off in exactly the same way. If you look down at page three now, one up to page three here, okay, and look at the, exactly the same technique is gonna be used here, all right? Exactly the same technique. And the rhythm bits, the beats are already there for you. So we've got an open fourth string as we did before. We're still on the chord of E, shape E I should say, and we're playing this. And one, two, three, and four. Okay. So we've got our open fourth. We hammer on with the six, which is indicated as six and four in a bracket. And then six and one together. And then six, one, six. Then we're gonna look at the top. Oh, the chords change now to an A. All right. And we're gonna play an open second string. And then we're gonna hammer the chord on it says you can just do it with the one finger and again I tend to hammer the whole thing on even though I'm only striking the second string uh, one five and one five one five okay uh, one two three and four from the top of that page uh, one two three and four uh, one two three and four you can hear how it's coming together now can't you to page four. Oh, same thing again on the A. Our one, um, our one, two, three, and no hammer this time. Two, six, six, and one, six, one, six. I'll just count it through from the second string. I'll say the string numbers first. Two, six, six, and one, six, one, six. Then we're gonna jump to a B seventh. 
and we're going to play the two first. Two, five, five and one, five, two, five. All right, put those bits together from the top of page four. So from the beginning of the verse, we've got... Ride it on out like a bird in the sky. We ride it on out like a you were a bird. Fly it on. So we're now on to page five. Fly it on. Now we got a hammer on. Same as before. Out like an eagle in. Back to the A as we did before. A sunbeam. Ride it on. On to page six. Ride it on to an E. One six. Six and one. Out like a jump to a B seventh, five and one together. Five and one, and then a one, then a five. What happens after that? Back to the riff. And that's the whole song. Alright? So from the verse I'll do it slow, slowly. Ride it on out like a bird in the sky. What's fun to do, put a clap, a hand clap on, go onto YouTube. I'm using 808 hand clap at 72 beats a minute. Play. guitar this is completely the wrong guitar I'm doing it as I said before to convince you that if it can sound all right on a, a shitty nylon thing you know because it's you know let's be honest nylon guitars are not a they're not supposed to be capoed up and B you know most people will find one kicking around their house or in their uncle's house or somewhere you'll always find one of these sitting in the corner somewhere so you don't need specialist gear if you like this is what I'm trying to say to play something that's really really cool now once you've got to the end of the track and you've followed this video carefully because you're gonna have to watch it more than once because it's unique as I say nothing like it on the internet you can then look at the everything I've just played that's on the, the breakdown you know with all the finger neck positions and lots of the stuff you can then follow it on here with the lyric of the first verse okay it, indicating exactly what you where the lyric goes and uh, the chord that corresponds to it and then the other verses, as I say at the bottom, it says, note the same chord and riff layout for all the verses. And then at the bottom, follow the tutorial, which you're doing uh, by Rob Fenner. Now, if you don't, if you just look at that, because let, let's be honest, this is how Boland played it when he was in the studio. Either him or um, Tony Visconti, who was his wonderful producer. In fact, T-Rex, they owe a lot to Tony Visconti. Pot, the sound was, you know, he was, he was as much to do with the band as anyone. Uh, either him or Boland would have played the bass guitar. With it, you know, forgive the clicking, as I say, I'm using the, the right. So the bass would have been played like that, with the hand claps. Because they didn't use drums before, uh, before Hot Love. That would have been the bass, and Boland would have... Sort of blown. That's how he played it with a plec. Well, you watch him playing it live, but it doesn't sound too cool. It doesn't sound good enough. You know, if you want it to sound like the record, this my way is the only way you're going to get a realistic sound that you can do on your own. 
Clearly, if you've got a band, fine. You've got a bass guitar, you've got hand claps, you know. But if you haven't, you play that like I've just showed you. You will bring the house down, my friends. I know because I've done it myself. And um, it just turns head to head turner. Right, that's done. Before I go, thank you for the donations to the channel. All right, they are very much appreciated. They buy all my tea and coffee and biscuits now. I'm able to buy some biscuits, which is cool. Do this one. If you get good at it and you're up for it, I'll show you that solo, but I'm not gonna do it now because it would just cluster the whole thing. See how you get on. Download the paperwork below, as I've said. Share whatever you like, and um, please do the uh, you know that thumbs up because it really helps the channel. I'll see you on Wednesday with something something else. Not sure what yet, but it'll be something a little bit a um, little bit easier. And remember, on this bowler one we've just done, you're using E, A, and B7, three simple chords, right? And your thumb and one finger. That's all. Your thumb and one finger. All right. So it is easy once you know how to do it and you follow that tutorial just keep going back over and over again you know give yourself a time to get the rhythm get the lyric get the um the the riff in your head bottom but just keep it going all right on that note the sun is shining so i'm going to go and sit in the garden for half an hour you take care i've just knocked the camera but never mind see you later bye bye